can see it's tracking the target, target 4 and drawing speculative vectors on it um, standard map or target tracking let me zoom out on this one and you can see it's acquired it it's doing a overlay on the chart as well um, i don't have charts which are in detail of this area but uh, you can see it is target tracking it so that is a Sailboat two miles out approximately. And you can see it's, it's still targeting it. Um, and it's drawn a vector where it thinks it is. So it's not perfect. You do need to select the target and say finish acquiring before it tracks targets. But um, seems to be doing it okay. See, it's moving very slowly since it's a sailboat. I am currently uh, basically tied to a mooring boy. Um, so you can see the mooring boy is out here. And uh, yeah, so um, so you can see that sailboat is lost in the ground clutter. Um, but if I go 36 miles out um, it's more set up to track clouds and various other things so it's not as defined as the A series so what I'm gonna do is stand by transmit to A and then I'll reduce it to 2 miles there's my sailboat back. I've lost the target, so what I do is there's my sailboat again. So I have to switch this guy's transmit. That'll give me my mountains just surrounding me, and also the sailboat track back again. Clear the cursor, switch over. And you can see the sailboat moving slowly. And let me track him again. He's on the edge of my range, so options. Let's track the guy. Let me zoom out to four miles. That is better defined now. Target. Let's find him again. Hopefully, the target tracking and then finish acquiring. Clear cursor. Let's see if it picks up the targets. Oh, I'm just outside. I think it's picked it up though. Nope, it's not picked it up. There's my blip, blip, here you are, acquire targets, finish acquiring, oh there I got it, so that's it.
and you can see it's plotted on the screen as well so let's see if we can maintain the lock it's lost the lock come on come on come on right in there Acquire targets, finish acquiring. Yeah, okay, I think I got him now. He's in the blip. Yeah, it's following him around. And there he is, the sailboat in the distance, uh, two miles away. I've lost it again, so you can see. Um, it's not very precise, but let's see if I can find him again. Acquire targets, acquire this guy. Okay, cool. And let's see if that finished acquiring. Let's see if that did anything. Clear Kasu. So let's see if this guy acquired. Okay, so Mapa isn't perfect, but um, it will do it. In most cases, he's practically standing still, which is half the problem. It's not a very good radar target. And we've lost him again. So that's it, the Halo 20 Mapa. Um, it's not perfect. Would have preferred auto acquiring of targets, but it is MAPA, not APA. So, uh, yeah. Power boat at about five miles distance, uh, maybe three miles distance. Let's see. Um, let me draw a smith. There he goes, so I'm going to track him, if I can, I'll track him, okay, okay and you can see since his powerboat, it was tracking was pretty much immediate. Um, you can see his movement. Let me get out of here. There he goes. Now I'll increase it to three miles. And you can see that the power boat is much faster and better because he's a vector which is moving. Just doing a steady clip. See more about our details. Mm. Yeah, it's being tracked perfectly because it's moving so fast that it shows up on our radar targeting pretty easily.
that's how Mapa target tracking works. lost him visually but he's still being tracked where the hell did he go oh there he is okay so he's going straight in you can see the radar track is kept up with him so his vectors changed and now it's lost clutter yeah he's obscured by the little rock out here so it's lost in the clutter so that's good. 